Greetings, hello, and welcome. How's it going? Um, we got some old photos. I kind of got into these... Let's just get some up here. There's one. I kind of like these ones in the frames. They're really sweet. Apologies for my fingers. I've been spray painting today. Uh, yeah, basically, I bought this one. It's a cabinet card, they're called. Come on, focus. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, it's not liking this at all. Yeah, so here we go. Here's three chills and their dog. I bought this because I like I like the doggy. I think he's m moved while the photo's being taken, so you can't really work make him out. I think there was... Oh, no, there was no name on this one. No. So anyway, this was like the... One of the earliest forms of photography, not this one specifically, but some of these other ones I'm going to show you. But these were cab... Oh, let's start properly at the start, right. So this was sold to me as a Daguero type, they were called, which was one of the original forms of photography. This isn't actually a Daguero type because I don't know if you can see, but you can see my finger through it. It's actually... Um, where's my... Where's that torch? It's actually on glass. It's on glass. Um, hang on. Yeah, you see, you can see through it. So, like, they prepare the glass however they do that with, um, you can see there, you can see kind of like brush strokes almost. They prepare the glass however they do that um, with chemical and then photosensitive chemical. And then that goes into the camera. This goes into the camera. And you're sat down, this is pulled up, the, the screen's pulled up, letting the light in onto this, which goes upside down, so it's actually in the camera this way. And then you take it out and you've got the photo of this woman. And look how, just look how like crisp the photo is. It's really nice. Um, I think this is like mid 1800s, as far as I've been able to date them. This is an Ambro type, it's called. It was the second kind of widely used photographic uh, method. So there, you can see the, you can see where he's like painted stuff on. I think then once you've done that, once it's developed onto here, you seal it. So I don't know if this is just like a lacquer that he's painted over it. I don't know how it works. It's got fingerprints in it. Look at that. Fucking hell, I didn't notice that. That's the guy's thumb. <laughs> That's so cool. Or lady, I don't know. But yeah, so these were like one and done. You had your photo taken, it was literally developed onto this, and that was it, you took the photo away. And uh, then they started being able, so so originally there was the Deguero type, which was basically the same as this, but it's on a piece of iron, I think, or copper, it's on copper, that's polished to, to buggery, and then silver oxide or something's painted over it, and whatever makes it susceptible to light, and then it's put into the camera. Then these ones came out. And I think during the 18, <coughs> 1850s, they managed to get the the shutter speed down from like 30 seconds, 50 seconds to like five. So like people are, you know, people say like they had to sit still for ages and ages. They didn't really. By like, by the time this was taken, I don't think she was sitting for that long. You just had to make sure you were still because like slightest movements could... Um, blur the image like are we pal the dog here so by the time these ones came along they, these are called cabinet cards and these are like late 1800s to early 1900s and you know beyond but these were and this is outside as well by the looks of things these were um the camera printed onto a negative which could then be repeated infinitely the the photographers actually kept the negatives uh, have i got one that says some of the ones say, you know, uh, get in touch with this geezer and he'll, he'll, um, yeah, he, he keeps the negative. I don't have one that says it. Just showing the back of this one. I got this in a lot with um, these two frames and I think the, if 
photographed by F. Sergeant Derby House, West Brixton. And it's got his um, shit on it there. Sergeant Derby House, West, West Brixton. I'm just, I'm not showing that one because I have a feeling that the subject in it wasn't alive when the photograph was taken. Which is another thing that was quite, like, I don't know if it was popular or what, but um, death photography, there was a whole kind of thing where obviously it was becoming more, especially when it got to this kind of side, side, uh, time, it was becoming more popular and less expensive to photograph people. And uh, sometimes they would have been photographed once, you know, especially like less well-off families. So like a memento mori of, of death of a, of a sibling or elderly person sometimes that might be the only photograph that exists of them it wasn't as big a it's not as taboo basically is what i'm trying to say as it is now this is another um this is another type of photo this is called a tin type this was like the last uh kind of single use picture before those these what are called cabinet cards came in uh let's see if i can get this out so this is onto a piece of metal. You can see here it's poking through. It's been wet. It's all like corroded and everything. But yeah, this is a piece of metal with the fo with the, the liquids applied to make it susceptible to light. So there he goes. I bought this one because he looks like my brother-in-law. Uh, no manufacturer or photographer's name or anything on these. I think these ones were used like right up until like the fifties and stuff as like a uh, like at seaside resorts as like a novelty kind of thing. You could get your photos taken. This one here is it? This one? I can't remember. I had these. Oh no, it's not. It's the other one. But we'll take this off. I like. I really love these frames. This is platinoid. Gini, what are you up to, love? Get out of that. She's in about my comics. See if I can take this off without damaging the... There we go. Yeah, I just love this. Because obviously, like, these frames would have been in wherever, like, shops. So there's, like, a a picture, like a frame lady. There she goes. And you can see the full photo here. I'm not sure of ages of these. I'm guessing late 1800s to early 1900s. Uh, but this next one's really cool. And then we'll end there because I have been speaking for almost eight minutes. But these are really cool. Jane tells me, Jane says, stop buying photos of random people. I refuse. I will never stop doing that. Yeah, this one. Right. So if I can remember the quick maths. So this one, it had another, this is like, I can't remember what it said it was. It was like non, uh, I'll tell you, it'll see, you'll see it when it comes in. It broke anyway in the post, so I've just tacked it back together. But, God, right. There's no frame lady, but yeah, yeah. British untarnishable manufacturer. That looks... Pretty fucking tarnished to me, guys, but what do I know? It ain't no platinoid like this one. So. Oh, it is just this. I thought it was two pieces of card. So there she is in all her glory. Tower Bridge Photographic Company. Tower Bridge Approach London. And it says the lady's name, Miss M... Miss M something, blah, blah, blah. Her address, age 22 years. And then it says their date, age now, 53 years, 1929. So this photo was taken uh, 31 years, 31. So 18, 1898 or something, this photograph was taken. Cool, huh? So anyway, that's them. That's them. We'll go back to this amber type over here. Ten minutes, eh? That almost looks like it's coloured. Doesn't that? That looks yellow or a little brooch or whatever in the middle of her collar. But yeah, really, really cool. 
and I've had to stop myself. I stopped myself buying a lot of like 70 of these. But yeah, I don't want to have loads of photos of, well, I, I technically do have loads of photos of people who are dead, but they were alive when the photos were taken. And I don't want to be getting into that because it's a bit, uh, a bit macabre, isn't it? Anyway. Oh no, shit. I forgot this one. This huge one came today. This wee dude with his boater. Look at the dog. I'm trying to find a lurcher, but that looks pretty like Evie. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I'm going to put this frame back together and feed the dogs. Peace.